everyone and welcome back to the Girly Girl Book Room. So today I have a weekly wrap up for you. I know it's a day late but I was finishing a book last night and I wanted to include it in here so I am making it on Saturday. Yeah. So I read so much this week which is surprising um, because this week was like crazy and I read some pretty big books. Well they're not really huge but they're decent sized. Um, this is from Sunday to Friday because I told you last week with my Christmas party and stuff, I didn't think I was going to have any weekly wrap, like anything to, we oh, weekend like news wrap up ish because I knew that I would only get to read it on Sunday. So I decided to just hold off and include it this in this wrap up. So I have four books to share with you and I'm just going to get started. So the first book I read this week was Graceling by Kristen, um, Kishore. I gave this four stars. This is a fantasy novel. Um, it follows our main character, I can't remember her name, Katza. And she is a Graceling, which means she kind of has a special power. And her power that she thinks it is, is that she's got a power of being a killer. And she is the niece of a king, because there's, there's seven kingdoms, and she is one of the king's nieces, so she kind of does his dirty work for a while. And then Poe comes along, and things happen, and she starts learning more about her grace, and different things like that. This plot, I'm really confused by still. In the beginning, it took me like a little bit to get into it, because I was very unsure of what the plot really was. And Poe's, like, grandfather's missing, so, like, they're trying to, like, f like, because she saved Poe's grandfather, but, like, po like I don't know, it's very, very kind of confusing, but, um, it was really good. There's just, like I said, the confusing factor, which kind of made it five stars, because I was kind of unsure of what the plot really was, but I'm kind of looking forward to getting to the companion novels, because they're not really, like, direct series so like I don't know what to read next fire or bitter blue so obviously I don't have either one of them so I'm not sure so if you know anything about this book let me know down below and you don't want to know a funny story so I hauled this back in July and I've seen it multiple times in videos and in my own bookshelf and it took me until I picked up the book to read to notice that there's a person's like face in the dagger Amazing. I had no idea. But yeah, I did enjoy this book, which is surprising because I really don't like fantasy. Like, I like fantasy, but I don't. So I was very excited that I liked this book. The next book I read, I was torn. I was like, do I read a sad book that I've been wanting to read for a while? Or do I just read a happy book? Because I finished Graceling and I, like, still had a few hours in the night. So I decided to go with Happy. So I went with Perfect by Sarah Shepard. This is book three in the Pretty Little Liar series. Five out of five stars. This was really good. Really fun, fast reads. Literally, I read this that night that I finished Graceling. So, it was so good. And I can't wait to find out who an A is. I think I find out after book four. So, I'm really excited to get to the next one. Because I can't figure out who, she, who A could be at all. The next book that I read was the sad one that I was putting off by reading Perfect. And that was... The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. I was really kind of disappointed with this book. I gave it three stars. Everybody loves it, so I was expecting to love it. And I just couldn't. I don't know. It was just... I really liked that it was told by death as, like, the main, like, narrator. That was really neat. But the writing style was very choppy. And I really, this was another one that I couldn't figure out the plot. Like, I could figure out the plot, but I was like, this is just a story with almost no point to it. Other than, like, I got the idea of, like, words and how words affect your life and how it could change things for the good or the better. And, um, the kind of things that we take for granted. But I feel like I missed it. Like, I liked it for the historical history aspect of it, but I just feel like I missed the bigger picture. Or something, I just I just felt like it was like, okay, she did this, and she went on and she did this. And I was expecting to bawl my eyes out. And I didn't really cry until the very end. And if you know, if you read this book, you know what part I'm talking about. But that was like, I cried for like two seconds, and then I was done. So, 
I was very disappointed with this book. Like, I really liked the main characters. Like, I really liked her father. Um, well, like, her foster father. And her mother and her best friend, Rudy. So, like, I did like the characters. I liked the story. But I just didn't get as much of it out of it as everyone else did. Which was kind of a bummer. But that's okay. Gotta read things. I would suggest you read it. If you've been wanting to read it, you might love it. So, I'm not downing it whatsoever. I just think that it has very a very specific audience that it's trying to get, and I apparently was not the audience for it. And the last book I read, which I finished yesterday, was Extras by Scott Westerfeld. This is like a companion novel to the Uglies trilogy, and I was disappointed with specials and like that whole how that series ended. So I was looking forward to seeing what this book had to offer. And I was disappointed again. I gave this book three stars. I liked it as a book in general. But I don't understand why it was added to the trilogy. I don't think it added to the story. It was in the same world, but you didn't really see the connection maybe until like halfway when you met some of the characters that were in the previous book. But I feel like it didn't really add to the story. It was a good story if it was by itself. I think, but, like, as a, like, a companion, I really didn't see the point of this book at all. But, um, there was a lot of action, a lot of, like, trying to figure out what was going on, just kind of like the Uglies, um, book was in the very beginning. So, I'm glad I read it. It's just, I don't see how it added to the story at all. But, yeah, that's all I read this week. Like, that's, I just said all, oh, like, as if I read one book. But I did so good this week. I'm very proud of myself. I'm already at 10 books for the month, which is crazy. Because I only read 10 books last January. So to think that I'm already at 10 is really happy making. Oh, man, I sound like I'm from the Uglies world. Happy making. Bubbly making. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to be getting some of my books today. I think I just saw them come in. So I will be doing a haul tomorrow, and I hope you guys stick around for that. And if you read any good books this week, let me know, and I will see you guys really soon. Bye.